Hey guys, welcome to Wildly Intrepid. Make sure to hit that subscribe down below if you want to be in on all of our new adventures. Last time we checked out rice terraces and did some swimming with some whale sharks. We left Batar and the rice terraces behind and carried on on top of a jeepney through the mountain regions in the Philippines, in northern Luzon. When we heard there was a cave close to the city of Sagada, we decided we had to check it out. So we hired a guide and made our way down to the cave. And the guide had a very funny sense of humor. The guy didn't speak a ton of English, but he had a sweet lantern that lit up the entire caves and gave us a, a completely different perspective on the entire caves. Normally, you look at the caves from just a small headlamp, which is just very narrow beam of vision, but this lantern allowed you to see every crack and crevice everywhere around the entire cave system. We jump back into our favorite transportation mode in the Philippines, the roof of a jeepney. I felt like it got uh, tighter as we got closer to the end too, so it was like, duck more! What if you can't duck more? <laughs> Lots of the roads were washed out due to some landslides and some heavy rains. Luckily, we had these young boys to help flag us through this dangerous train. After spending so much time on the island of Luzon, we figured out that we had to explore a few more islands. crossed over to Mindoro Island. After walking all along White Beach and checking out all of the different accommodations, we were almost desperate because everything was very expensive. Luckily, we found a nice little room that was actually the closest one to the beach and it was very affordable and cheap. Alex says it's cheap, but it was pretty awesome. We would wake up in the morning, jump in the water with our snorkel mask and tuba, and explore this wonderful, colorful world of soft corals, lionfish, snakes, eels. White Beach was a hot spot for a lot of locals coming from Manila, so it was pretty busy on the weekends. We had a lot of different types of transportation to cross over to Panay Island, then Negros Island, and then up into Sikijo. Be careful! Also known as Pudu Island, it offered some love potions and many different other ones. The core is pretending to be a monkey. Hello! We rented a scooter and explored the island. Kampu Gahai waterfalls where we did some swimming, cliff jumping and rope swing. Drove and swam at Kaguswan Beach, a lovely place with nice rock formations. This beach was really shallow. We had to walk for quite a while before we could even dunk our heads in and start swimming. But once we got out, there was some beautiful reef around. 
This was one of the first times that I got to see some soft coral and a lot of mixtures of harder coral that looked like flowers and things like that. Nemo! probably seen a sand dollar lying around. Well, this is what it looks like in the ocean. It's much bigger and a lot more alive. We left beautiful Sikijo and headed to Cebu Island, where we discovered some stunning and milky blue waterfalls named Kawasan. There we explored around through the rain and Cory pretended to be a monkey. Once again. <laughs> While visiting Panag Summer, we did some snorkeling. There was a crazy wall of sardines. They were surrounding us everywhere. You couldn't tell where the sardines started and the water ended. We even saw a few sea turtles. We then headed to Mactan Island where we would be flying away. Inside here is a baby chicken, but not like egg style chicken. It's a baby fetus. Uh, it's supposed to be a delicacy here in the Philippines. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Um, but apparently it's not as bad as it looks or or taste. I don't know. We'll find out. So yeah. I'm told you're supposed to crack the top and um, is it liquid? Okay, this one doesn't have liquid, so I have no juice to taste. Thankfully. I don't know. Doesn't seem like a normal egg. You can see the top of it. Oh, man. It's, it's definitely looking more nasty as I feel it. <laughs> I think maybe I just like cracked it on the wrong side to get at the juice. Oh god. Yeah, it's getting pretty nasty now. It doesn't smell as good anymore. Not that it smelled good before. Gotta eat it. Hmm. So I assume this is like the the sack that it feel, feeds on. some salt. Oh, okay, yeah, it's starting to look like what I expected it to look like. I brought Alex some salt, and now it's her turn to try the little baby chicken fetus. I eat the whole bowl of salt instead of eating this. Oh yeah, take a nice big bite of that. <laughs> I can't see your face. <laughs> see, it's not, not as bad. It looks way worse than it is. It's... I see his foot, come on. Oh, that's awesome. Ugh. Eat his foot. <laughs> I feel bones. <laughs> <laughs> Do people eat this shit? Yeah, apparently. Look at that juicy deliciousness right there. There's feathers in there. 
Oh, you, you're tasting the feathers? <laughs> Join us in next week's episode where we explore Singapore. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down here. And be what you aspire. <laughs>